Hey guys, it is 6 a.m. Saturday morning. Why I asked Paul to get up this early and come out riding with me is beyond me. <laughs> I am meeting him a little bit later, actually, crazy enough. And we're going for a coffee. Yeah, it's really great. You'll see me up at like half four on a Saturday getting ready. Yeah, it does take me an hour and a half to get ready as well. Crazy. pair of gloves <laughs> it's freezing this morning it definitely is winter now it's a clear sky and it's like six seven degrees don't mind running in the cold it's a bit miserable in the dark and the cold and light when you're a little bit tired So Paul is running a little bit late. <laughs> I don't think he's ever been on time to meet me at Thornham Day. <laughs> it's really cold, but I don't want to sit inside because I don't leave my bike outside. Uh, it gets lonely, you see. <laughs> Can't really help Paul. <laughs> if, he's, if he's not here soon enough, I'm drinking his coffee. Like, that is the rules. And then he has to get more in. <laughs> While I'm here, I want to shamelessly review something I bought off Amazon. <laughs> so um, obviously with the ultra riding, now I get asked this question a lot, do I listen to music and stuff like that? Yeah, yeah, totally, all the time. You kind of have to, like to keep your, your mind in a good place, I think. But obviously there's a limit to how much you should listen to music and circumstances. So I normally don't listen to music when I'm in busy places or need to concentrate like cities and stuff like that. I also, when I'm riding, normally just have one earpiece in instead. You know, if I'm on like, this sounds weird, if I'm on a dual carriageway, it's a massive hard shoulder like uh, when I was in Biking Man O' Man, where nothing comes in there, then, you know, maybe I'll put two in, but I'll only use Apple ones because they're not noise isolating, so you can hear the outside as well as your music, which you keep on quite low. So, yeah, you have to be cautious and careful, and that's, that's kind of my thoughts on it. Some countries are banned, like uh, France, yeah, you're not allowed to use headphones while you're riding. UK, uh, as what I know, I don't think they are. I've never been stopped for it anyway. So I do listen to music, yes, and the other day I bought these off Amazon. I really like these for a few reasons. Uh, firstly, I've never had earbuds before and I was curious to see if they were going to start falling out while I was riding and they actually didn't, they're really good. I have a problem with these JVT Gummy Plus ones I use that my hair pulls on the cord and it starts to pull out my ears, which is really annoying. So I thought I'd try earbuds and yeah, they're really good. What really appealed about these though is the fact it's quite easy just to tap instead of finding the controls there. Another thing which I found really cool about these is also this here is a power as well. So not only does it charge your headphones when you put them back in, but you can charge your phone and your Garmin and stuff from this as well. Uh, the weight of it is literally, I don't know, but it can't be much more than like 150 grams. So it's a 2,200 milliamp power bank plus the earbuds. Uh, when you connect to Bluetooth, as soon as you open it, it automatically connects and everything. Power bars there. It's a nice little bit of kit actually. Like I say, wasn't sent this by anyone, you know, didn't kind of like sponsored or anything like that. 30 quid off Amazon. I was really impressed at that. I'm gonna give them a bit more of a longer row test. Uh, the other thing that I like about these as well that I haven't tested yet is it says it's got 10 hours battery life on just the buds alone. And then if you charge them just off this without using the power bank to charge anything else, you get 156 hours out of it which is longer than a lot of ultra races. So that's quite incredible actually. So you've got a power bank there and some new ones. So yeah, it's uh, gonna try them for a while, see how they get on. Uh, I'll put the link below in the comment. Here he is. <laughs> <Thank you. laughs> nice. You're winning pool today? Yes mate. Yeah. Where are you taking us? Up a big hill. <laughs> nice. <laughs> <Big> <laughs> So a hill. <laughs> South as quickly as possible to have a 40 mile hour wind. 
Paul's in charge of the route. Hopefully I'll make it home tonight. <laughs> <laughs> So we just stopped for another coffee and uh, Robbie's having a sugar high because he hasn't had any decent carbs. <laughs> so how can we stop Paul? Because uh, you um, run out of carbs. <laughs> run out of carbs, sugar crashed from the last caffeine stop. We're on it today. Well I'm nearly home. I don't know what happened. I had an absolute spike of energy. Just too much to the point of where you know you feel a bit tipsy like not that i'd had anything to drink it's just like maybe a bit too much caffeine a bit too much kind of like high acting sugar let's call it and woo, sent me just off the planet poor paul i had to stop him at the garage and just get some proper carbs in to be fair though i get days like that i think i'm not very good at regulating energy like I'm good when I'm just riding or I'm good when I'm just doing strength training but when I'm doing both I kind of feel as I'm over caloried or under caloried quite often and it's just something I need to get used to I am doing really well with the strength training at the minute though I am putting on size quite quickly I think I've gained quite a lot of muscle over the past few months well I can see I've gained quite a bit to be fair but it's kind of what I do for a living 